It's an annual astronomy gathering on the African continent, drawing some of the greatest minds from across the globe, all geared towards solutions for everyday challenges. Experts say astronomy could be the key to addressing the country's electricity and water challenges. If we, through astronomy, develop technologies that can harness the energy from the sun efficiently, we can power the whole South Africa without spending any additional money for many, many more years. So um, there are ways that we can leverage the knowledge we have in astronomy. We know how much energy the sun releases and we know how easily we can tap those energies. We just need the engineers to work more efficiently to develop those technologies for us to harness this. On water, we do have systems with which we can monitor contents of water that we can put in space. And for the youth, the opportunities that come through South Africa's radio astronomy, Observatory Sarau is endless. Robotics in astronomy being a draw card for many who hope to use this as a gateway to solve South Africa's energy challenges. Still figuring out what type of engineer I should become, maybe in the coding direction or building direction. So, yeah. and how do you think would that help the country one day, should you go in that direction? Uh, what I think the country could help is electric engineer with the power we have here in South Africa. That is currently a problem. And I want to build projects that will actually help the ESCOM to help us get more electricity and also to use less coal that is affecting the Earth. With the biggest telescope, the Square Kilometre Array, the SKA being built in South Africa, making Africa one of the leaders in astronomy, a boost for overall development. The development that we do of these big telescopes here, right now in Africa, can help the growth of your economy. So you have, you're training smart minds that can do anything. They can build telescopes, they can write software, they can, they can make electronics, and they can be the next one that builds a new company from that and uses that same technology but for everyday life. Despite having some of the biggest astronomy-related infrastructure in the world, poor funding remains challenging as some African leaders often fail to use the power of astronomical technology to solve society's challenges. Today we've got Wi-Fi, right? Those, those sort of things come from things like astronomy. So if you take science seriously and you take its development seriously, especially sciences like astronomy that push the limit of what we can do, you know, right to the edge, they push us to be more innovative. We can make the communication better, you know, between our leaders, leaders of countries, and the scientists to communicate what the impact can be. Then I see that, you know, we would, would sort of uh, cross the barrier that, you know, can, can improve the investment in astronomy. In, in most African countries, um, you know, most people do not see the importance, you know, of astronomy or science until they can see what it can do for their communities. And ultimately, astronomy can be a key driver to service delivery resolves, job creation and economic development for the whole of Africa. Patricia Fasahi, SABC News, in Kempton Park.